Now we'd like to demonstrate a man in the middle, or MITM, attack. Um, this attack is exactly what it sounds like. It means that we're inserting ourselves in the middle of the conversation on the network. So if you had two people talking with tin cans and a string, we would be in the middle of that string spying on the conversation. Um, on the lower right hand side, you'll see the device we're primarily going to use to do this. Um, it's a small wireless access point that we've made with a Raspberry Pi, which is a mini computer. Uh, and this Raspberry Pi is special. It uses a configuration uh, called Pi Rogue, and that's by Esther Onfroy, um, our friend from Exodus Privacy, as well as Reina, and they've been working on uh, a project they're calling Pyre Analysis um, to do this sort of configuration. Uh, we've got our swing line stapler behind the uh, Pi Rogue to show a little bit of scale uh, to give you an idea how small these things really can be. And of course, this is very similar to a wireless access point or router that you'd have in any building or in your home. Um, it's just that we've configured it to be a little more hackable and a little more flexible um, using the, the Raspberry Pi and uh, the software uh, configuration. Um, the device is running Kali Linux, uh, which is typical penetration testing um, operating system that we'll be using in class. Um, and it's using a special configuration of man in the middle proxy, MITM proxy. So uh, that device is pretty awesome, has a nice little um, uh, LED screen that gives readout of the IP address, the name of the wireless access point, and uh, the traffic that's going through it, so you don't even need to hook this thing up to a monitor. Okay, now on the upper left, you'll see my cell phone, um, and this is gonna be the unwitting victim of this man in the middle attack. And then up here on the upper right-hand corner, you'll see the terminal command line interface window. Now the first thing we need to do is connect to the pyro. Actually, let me just look up the IP address. It's uh, SSH is the protocol we're going to use, and then we're going to be the root, net, uh, root user on 172.28.13.30, which is in the Yale um, range, in the IP range. We're going to connect to that box. So now we're uh, root at the Pi Rogue, as you can see that the username changed. Uh, and we're going to do something here uh, called uh, starting a transparent proxy. Now that proxy, of course, is going to be the um, way in which um, we capture the HTTP and HTTPS packets um, that are flowing through this wireless access point. So I'm just running the command here. And you'll see that all HTTP and HTTPS traffic is now being routed through this piece of software um, as a transparent proxy. Um, and it's going to just capture all those data packets. And we're going to use man in the middle proxy, MITM proxy, to make sense of those packets and make it easy to browse them. So I'm going to start that now. And we are all set up now um, to start eavesdropping. Now we set up a wireless access point we called Yale Not So Secure. And I can actually show you that here. Um, here's Yale Secure, which this laptop is connected to that I'm demonstrating on. Um, but you'll also see here Yale Not So Secure, which the cell phone on the upper left is connected to. Okay, now if I open up Firefox on this cell phone, I have a demo site here that loads a fake uh, wireless gateway login page. This is very typical, of course, when you connect to these kinds of wireless access points, and it looks relatively legitimate. Um, so we're on an Android-based device, so we're going to click on Android. And we're downloading a security certificate now. This certificate has been generated by the Pi Rogue, by Man in the Middle Proxy specifically. And because it's come from what looks like a legitimate network and what looks like a legitimate page or access page, uh, we trust it because why wouldn't we? So we're going to trust that. 
Now this is only necessary for the HTTPS, for the SSL slash TLS connections. Um, even without a security certificate, going through here, anything that comes through uh, in the plane, so like plain HTTP or other plain network communication um, could be logged by this wireless access point. But we do need to install a security certificate if we're going to do the um, pretty awesome task of decrypting the information. Okay, so now that certificate is installed and let's just double check. Okay, it's already installed as a certificate authority. So we now trust this little box on the lower right hand corner here. And you'll see um, in the terminal window, the get traffic coming through as my cell phone has grabbed those certificates. Now we're going to go out to Gmail. And we're going to log into our Gmail account. And you'll see here that the lock in the upper left hand corner is still green because this device does trust the intermediate certificate and then we use the actual Google certificate to communicate to Google. So the traffic is, one way to think of it I guess, is the traffic is encrypted between the cell phone and the uh, Pi Rogue and then the traffic is encrypted between the Pi Rogue and Google. Um, but because the Pi Rogue has inserted itself into the middle of this conversation, it's able to read anything that comes through. Um, and you'll see all of these, this get data that comes through. I could, for example, show you um, this HTML here, and you can see you know, the contents of, of this HTML. Um, so we actually can see the browsing history, we can see the files that the user is requesting, downloading, uh, etc. Now I'm going to actually clear this uh, MITM proxy screen to make it a little more clear what's going on when we log in. And then I'm going to log in. And you'll see the traffic is coming through again. And now, here's the part which is really dangerous, of course. I'm going to pop in my password, which, of course, we're only setting up for a short period of time for this demo. And you'll see me log into my Gmail. Now, the window on the right hand side has filled up with all kinds of stuff, but the most important part is this post right here. You see it says challenge password. You'll see the identifier, yalecyber.gmail.com, and then the password. Thank you for watching. And thank you very much for watching.